Alright, so this video has two halves. The first half is going to focus on how to give your materials this height. Um, and the second part is going to focus on how like the optimization works. How do you actually render this without like running out of RAM? Um, the scene we started with, like after the end of the first part, we had like 1.8. 8 I believe yeah 1.8 gigs of RAM usage right now we're under 700 and the details didn't really change a lot so I'm gonna stop wasting your time and start the video let's go all right so as you apply like your different uh, texture maps you realize oh wait the base color changes the material and the metallic also changes the way it looks even if it's like a little bit the roughness like gives it that proper final look that you want the normal actually makes it a lot more dynamic, like it gives it a shape, but then you plug in the height and then you realize, wait, that's not changing anything. Nothing actually happened. So there's like a bunch of different ways to like troubleshoot this and the best way is to just plug in the height map. You'll realize, wait, it's actually changing something, but only up till a point. So right now, even if I select 5,000, nothing actually happens. There's no difference between 5,000 and 1. So how do you get a terrible material like this? One second, let me just plug these back in. So how do you get a material like this to look something like this? Alright, so there's actually two different methods of doing this. One is like the old way and the other one is sort of like an experimental feature that's been with us for a while that not a lot of people still use i don't know why not they should definitely be using this so let's start with like the old way first so what we do over here is just come down here like in the material tab and in the settings you have to change the bump only to displacement and you'll notice something's changed so just ignore it for now um over here i'm opening like the shader editor and the scale obviously changes how much it displaces now I'm just gonna keep it at point 0.1 you'll know why pretty soon actually let's change it to 1 just so you guys know why just come over here to the modifiers and add a subdivision surface so the reason this is happening is because blender doesn't have enough geometry right so we're just gonna give blender the geometry it needs to make the shape that we want it to make so just add subsurf modifier after subsurf modifier until you get the final shape that you want. This is still not good enough. This is still not good enough. This just might be. Okay, and this is basically good enough, but the scale is way too high because it's like going all the way from bottom to up here. So just change it to like 0.1. And yeah, you can see why this is like the inefficient method. Uh, Blender is using around 1.8 gigs of memory right now. And in terms of like what's actually going on, we have a total of six and four. That is 10 subsurface modifiers. And Blender is using one and a, one and a half, no, 1.8 gigabytes of RAM. So this is the inefficient method of doing this, okay? Your scene is going to use a lot of memory, it's going to take forever to render, all of that stuff. So, what's the better way of doing this? Alright, so for the better way of doing this, we do not need all of these subsurf modifiers. So, I'm just going to remove this and I'm just going to set this back to 1. For now, don't worry about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to enable the feature set experimental. So obviously you might experience some crashes but 2.8 is pretty much stable now like there's just a handful of crashes left so i wouldn't i don't mind doing this so we get into like the camera view and come over here to the modifiers and you'll notice an adaptive setting over here just tick that and wait a second things changed but they're not perfect right and the scene is only using what 378 megabytes of ram compared to 1.8 that's a lot less well, you'll notice if you come over here back to the render engine, there's another tab over here, the subdivision tab. This wasn't here before. If I change this back to like the older, like the supported feature set, this will disappear. So what we do right, like what we do right now is just, I want to see what it looks like in the render. So I'm just going to change it to one. Uh, you should definitely not be doing this. So just change it back to one. 
and it's gonna update the mesh, update everything else. Just wait for it. And all right, there we go. That's that's the final mesh. And this already looks a lot better. It's using 1.68 gigabytes of RAM, but it looks a lot better. So that's what the actual final scene is gonna take. What happens if I change it to 4 over here for the preview? We wait for it, wait for it. It's down to 500 megabytes. So this scene right now is only using 500 megabytes of RAM. For the actual render, it'll use 1.4, 1.3. So, alright, that's nice and all, but what about 2? Is this good enough for me? Yeah, it's good enough for me. Like, I don't want anything more detailed than this. So I can just change this to do right now as well. And what did that do? That got it down to under one gigabyte. That is insane. Okay, getting a scene from like 1.8 to just under one is massive. And the way it's doing this is basically, if you look over here, this place doesn't look okay. It looks like something is definitely wrong right but if i come back to near the camera it's amazing it's basically perfect and as i like get away from it yeah the number of subdivisions start going down until i get to the furthest away bit where things straight up look like garbage again but we don't care because our camera isn't there right one second, I need to like come back over here to the camera and just re-enter this. Our camera isn't over there, our camera is here. So that's all we care about. And this is amazing, like being able to adaptively subdivide meshes where you want to. It decreases your memory usage, it basically solves all of your problems. So yeah, if you're gonna do displacement, if you're gonna do height, you definitely need to use adaptive. That's pretty much it. Have fun, guys, and good luck. All right, so bonus bit that I completely forgot about. You can also change the maximum subdivisions over here. So it's 12 by default, I believe. And if I change it down to 10, it doesn't actually change a lot about the actual scene, but it decreases the memory usage even more. So what you can do is like just keep turning it down until you realize, oh wait, the scene's starting to look bad. So, okay, go back, go back, go back insert that meme over here so basically just go back to like one higher and then just settle with that so we've got it like even further down okay than what it was remember we started with 1.8 gigs for this much detail now we're down to like under 700 again so that's that's it that's final and yeah if you're interested in more of these videos then definitely subscribe i think yeah have fun